Captain Marvel is the latest film in the MCU and is the first to focus primarily on a female superhero. It's set in the 90s and acts as a prequel in the MCU. The film mixes things up in the first act a bit by giving Carol Danvers or Captain Marvel amnesia when she is on the planet Hala and she's simply trying to figure out who she is and where she came from. When the movie first started, I, I got a little scared because it was so boring. I was like, hey, where's all the action and the fighting? Carol gets kidnapped by an alien shape-shifting race known as the Skrulls, who search through her memories to try to find a clue for a light-speed engine that they're searching for. When she escapes from the Skrulls and crash lands on Earth, that's when things really start to pick up and it got my blood pumping. I actually appreciated Marvel's attempt to try something new with the beginning of this film, but was a little disappointed they didn't have the nerve to stick with it and the rest of the film just became your standard comic book origin story. On Earth, Carol fights against the Skrulls while joining forces with a two-eyed Nick Fury to search for this lightspeed engine. Once Carol and Fury join forces, this movie is hilarious. It's like a 90s buddy cop movie, you know, Lethal Weapon meets Iron Man. Carol plays the straight man to Fury's funny man. It was fun to see Fury cut loose and not be so serious, while building his backstory and showing the evolution into the Nick Fury we've come to know. Then Mendelssohn even got to have some fun and make jokes as the leader of the Scrolls named Talos. It was nice to see him not being a brooding bad guy for once. This movie had car chases, train chases, hand-to-hand -hand combat, space battles, and a lot more than that. You just gotta get past that first boring part, so you know, just stick with it. In the beginning, we're told that Carol doesn't have control over her powers, which gives you a sense that she could potentially lose in a fight, and that does build up tension in the beginning. But then she does get control over her powers and becomes what I would say is the strongest hero in the Avengers universe. She becomes Superman. She's basically unstoppable. With that being said, there is no suspense in the final battles in the movie. It starts off slow, but eventually Marvel made a good enough movie to satisfy me while I wait for Endgame to come out. It is a little sad that Marvel released two so-so movies in between the Avengers, but I'll take what I can get. This wasn't the best Marvel movie, which is sad because it was the first female-led one, but it definitely wasn't the worst. 7 out of 10. There is a lot of action in this movie. You just gotta get past the beginning. 8 out of 10. They try to mix things up and add suspense, but in the end, when Captain Marvel gets her full powers and basically becomes Superman, there's no worry that she's gonna lose to the bad guy, so 6 out of 10. Nick Fury was hilarious, and it was so nice to see this lighter side of him. We need more buddy comedies with Samuel L. Jackson in them. 8 out of 10. I appreciated Marvel trying to do something new, but as I said, I was disappointed to see they gave up on it in the end to make just another standard Marvel movie. 5 out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Captain Marvel the overall rating of girl power. The first act of the movie drags everything to a halt with its boredom and lack of empathy towards any of its characters, but once we are brought back to Earth and introduced to Samuel L. Jackson, well, it becomes the standard Marvel film you've all come to love, and it's great to finally see a female-led film from the MCU. Maybe they can finally focus on making that Black Widow movie we've all been waiting for. Well, there you have it. That's our review. Let us see yours. Post your own video review in the comments below and we'll check it out. Stay up to date on all things through all of our social media accounts. And as always, thanks for checking out Who's Review, where everyone's a critic.